everyone, this is Heather with Holistic Healthcare and Midwifery. Today we are going to talk about a topic that's not a very easy topic to talk about and that is called the pregnancy that was not supposed to happen. Many times women and men, if involved, have realized that they are pregnant and that they have no idea what to do. This is an unplanned pregnancy. They're not in a situation to where they can care for the baby or they can afford to care for the baby. Or they may be at a time in their life to where they're in school or there's just not a good time to have a baby. And I know this comes up a lot in our society that we're looked down upon because we choose one of three things when this happens. We choose an abortion, we choose an adoption, or we choose the harder of the three to keep the baby and parent it no matter what. That's what I did in 1977 when I was 17 because I was too afraid of the other two options. Now that in and of itself being a parent is probably for the past 39 years the hardest job that I have ever had in my entire life. So let's talk a little bit about the options that a woman is looking at. For one, she may already have five children or she may not be able to have, you know, any help with her kids. It's a very, very hard decision to make and it usually needs to be made as soon as possible, within the first six weeks, at the very least, 12 weeks. Then we're getting into not really an abortion. The baby by then is actually growing after 12 weeks. I know, it's very sad. And that's why after this particular video, I'm probably going to talk a little bit about getting to know your body before you get pregnant. I felt a real calling though to do this particular video because there's so much shame and blame and anger at people that choose an abortion. Women that choose an abortion. You know, they may even lose their particular significant other over the fact that they're even pregnant, which is very sad. Now one thing I will say about abortion that I do not agree with is that it is not, not a form of birth control. Birth control needs to be done before you have sex so that you don't have a baby. But I'm here to say that you can get pregnant on birth control pills. You can get pregnant on pretty much almost every single type of, um, you know, birth control, except for perhaps, um, I would say, a tubal ligation of the Philippian tubes being cut. But that's a whole other story. Back to abortion. I, as a midwife, know how to do and assist a lady with an herbal on abortion. I do. I also know how to tell you how to have sex at the appropriate time to get a girl or a boy baby. But back to abortion. First thing I want you to know as a woman is that you are a mother the moment you conceive this child. That's right. You're a mom. Now, sometimes moms being one for as long as I've been, we have to make some really hard decisions concerning our children. And that will include an abortion. You're a mom that if you choose to have your baby aborted, you're basically looking out for the best interest of the family unit, you and that baby. You've made a choice saying, I can't give to this baby. I can't feed this baby. I can't care for this baby. What will I do? So having an abortion is not something to be ashamed of. That is something that you need to realize is your right as a mom. You have just saved that child years of perhaps suffering and watching their mother suffer too. Now you can go to clinics and you can have an abortion. And there are ways that it's done with herbs. Not telling my secret. I just really want the shame factor to go away with people and women that decide to abort their children because 
no woman I know have I ever spoken to has ever not been scarred or cried or at least felt horrible about the fact that they chose to have an abortion. This is a very difficult mother decision and one that I think takes extreme courage. So with that being said, let's go into the perhaps idea of an adoption. I have been a midwife and I have been a part of a couple and a woman who's pregnant who get together and have a home birth and then the mom is able to breastfeed the baby for the first three days and give this baby up for adoption to a loving couple that are unable to have their own baby. Lovely births. Not only that, but allows the mom to still bond with the baby. The baby still bonds with mom. Still gets the appropriate breast milk so that they can have the antibodies. As well as the fact that there is a bond between the mother and the couple that are adopting the baby. I do suggest that you do have legal papers written up. That's a big thing. And also a disclaimer saying that if the mother decides to change her mind after she's had the baby, that she'll return all monies or whatever has been decided in that particular instance. And there's also adoption agencies. You know, when I was 17, I was given that choice too to go to an unwed mother's home. I personally couldn't do that. However, for those moms that are brave enough and capable enough of carrying a baby for nine months, giving it the best nutrition, giving it a fantastic birthing, giving that little child good breast milk, and then handing that baby over to another couple, I've got to say, I have got more respect for you than so many other people. Oh my goodness. I mean, that wrenches my heart. Courage. That's what I say, courage. Not me. Like I said, I chose parenting, which was keeping my baby at 17. It's been difficult. I was 17. Luckily, I was in a place that was very supportive for five years, and I ended up getting married. So I was supported. I was cared for. I was assisted. I didn't know what I was doing. However, most women that choose parenting at 17, if they don't have support or a mother, again, talk about courage. They're usually going to have to work a job. The baby's going to have to be taken care of. And, you know, they're responsible for housing, feeding, clothing. Every single thing that goes along with being a parent. Forever. Because once you have a baby, you always have a baby. Especially if you choose the parenting route. I hear from my son daily. He's 39. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's for money. I don't hear as much from my daughter who's 37. However, I think that's a mother-daughter thing. Just want to put a heads up to people that put people down for choosing abortions or adoptions, especially abortions. Because like I said, you are a mother the moment you conceive and mothers have to make hard choices for the safety of their child. So let it be said, you're courageous. You have nothing to be ashamed of. I hope this helps.